sequence is just a general swing. You know, I have to be in a loaded position, not to be confused with many years ago when I was always in a loaded position. But <laughs> as he's striking me one, I want to move this and, and make my hit. You can see immediately that's clearing, that, that's a hit. And there's a row of teeth into a solar plex shot and then coming across with a left hook. So we want those actions. You know, as he comes into one, I'm going one and I'm popping him right in the eye. That's going to set his head back. I'm going to move that there, take that ankle, see there, strip that ear, or take those sunglasses off again, and then reco recoil it back into the hit. If I needed to close, you're coming into that left hook, and that's a shot wherever mm. you particularly want it, right? Just checking, man, just checking. Oh, Pretty cool. accurate. It was that right was close, testicle man. targeting. Yes, it right. was, right there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. I'm ready, ref. So now, and we're doing a single Sunwali, a high, low, low, high. Oh, yeah. We're just looking at the, the target. If he hits me high, huh, what's open? You're going to take out that knee. If I respond there, he's taking out the other knee, and then again, he's taking the high. So it's just a simple high, low, low, high. Looks like that. High, low, low, high. You see, Charlie, come in and do that with him. I'll pick up a few things here, okay? So watch Charlie's footwork, the, the body pivoting and the rotation of the hips. No different really than if you were kind of firing off power hits off a of right and a left. What we should be getting here is an equalization of right and left power. There is no distinction as far as uh, power development. They're equalized and that's kind of the beauty of it. You're working off the center pole access, okay? So those are some of the key things for the first four strikes. Uh, here, try. So in general, he's striking me one, I'm closing to one. He hits to the body for two, I'm blowing this up. You see, when he comes in for the three, these are all setups. When he goes to four, I'm already right there. When he strikes one, I'm bilging, thrusting, moving that to the outside. Where's my nut shot? It's right there. Where's my hit? Where's my hit? Where's my bump? I ain't going to let you go. But you can see that's just a point of attachment. So we want those type of actions. When he's firing one, I'm closing to this. When he's going into two, this is a hand strip, and that's your strike. You're already into your lock. Where's his alignment for my destruction right there? And since he gave me that, I'm going to have that center lock on that too. So a lot of movement, the ability to bridge, to ability to close, to the ability to perceive if this is a committed side, well, how's he going to hit me again? He's not. He's got to commit to the secondary targeting. So I'm going to blow that. There's a slip. I'm already inside. I often say, you know, I'll just do the movement. So I'm close to the movement. You can see the pass, and then I have to zone in. So as he comes in, hit move. I'm clearing the weapon. I'm zoning in. You can see how the point of attachment, you can see the point of head manipulation or there or spin throw monitor hit hit and there again either throw hook lock you drop the weapon into a takedown so we're looking at the biomechanics and line familiarization to give us the movement when we look at the staff the strike comes in I'm going to monitor that and bring my weight down there's my hit there's my retraction. So when he comes in, there's my entry, there's my hollow out, there's my closing before he can hit me with that staff again. My hand is coming up. How's that any different than hands like clouds? There's the nut shot. There it is right there. So he comes into one, I'm going one, and I'm moving. Where's my hit? Pari right into the return. Look right into the takedown. Go down, bitch. <laughs> right into the finish. What, what, what? Oh, okay, just checking. What, what, what? Just checking. Okay, what, what, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, just some things to think about. The correlation, that's reverse grip. Standard would be no different. I'm here, but he's going to hit high. I'm checking and going back in. He comes through low. There's my palace. There's my insert. My retraction is doing what? And I'm there. See, I can move that out, just do the strip and monitor, cut, cut, insert. So the action is going to be similar to my empty hand lines. So knife is going to give you that, 
but the staff's going to give you the body mechanics to put the weight, to put the body rotation in, as opposed to just slashing away with bad body mechanics. All right? So, first four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Second four, abanico. Fanning the stick. And fanning the stick. When Charlie hits me one, I'm going here and I'm moving that out of the way and I come around. That, that's already taken it out. You see? So, a lot of times, like just off the punch. Where does that come from? You see? That type of action. Or I come here like this and I'm moving off that. That's a setup and bang. And there's my Sinwali coming out of that. So, it's a conceptual approach to overlap principal movement and targeting into universal application. So that I'm not just doing staff, I'm doing everything, okay? And then I can translate it to boxing or anything from that perspective. Again, he hits me, I'm moving that, and I'm targeting. So that's the first target, which moves it down. I'm coming through, the second hit is here, but it could be the weapon strip right into here. Now I'm targeting the knee or the ankle back into the head. And then I got a baseball bat taking out the neighborhood, <laughs> okay? So staff can be a very useful tool. First of all, understanding a lot more distance, a lot more range, and a lot more commitment of movement and action. So it's often misunderstood. All right, so one thing I didn't cover is the center pole. So when this is coming in, there's a hand smash. I'm gonna come into center pole. Boom. Doesn't take much. You can imagine that shot there to the forehead. So when he's coming in, I'm going into that, I'm moving, and I'm blasting that with that type of energy. Just here. And that is no different than a release strike. So I'm getting push here, and that's the palm. Now you can see how all the strikes literally relate to that, okay? So power development, targeting, power generation, rotation, line familiarization, those type of things. So let's go one through four, then flipping. So he stabs me. See how that works? Again, stab me. One, two, hit me. Three, four. Can't be really efficient because we're usually only thinking about hitting with one end. Stab again. One, two, three, four. Oh, scary <laughs> shit, huh? All right, so just pick it up, make it yours. You know, and you're learning things at a workshop to apply later. I can't remember this shit. I like what Mike said. Martial arts is an ADHD. Right there. That's what fighting is. You're adapting in a very confused environment. And you're responding off the energy that you're given. And then you're adapting to that. And hopefully adding intent. So, let's work it a little bit. Have fun.